Right, welcome back guys. Um, let's continue building out this scene. In the previous video we modelled this uh, lamp, so congratulations if you made it through that video and survived the, uh, you know, ultra interesting lamp. But um, in this video I, I'm going to model this bench. It's really relatively simple. It's just a bunch of rectangles if you look at it very carefully. I mean, it's got this bit here at the side which is what you can do with a cylinder. It's got a little curve here. I'm going to keep this straight. I uh, don't bother curving it out and um, I'm going to ignore these bits guys so that's that uh, that's how I'm going to come across this and just as a side note I renamed these objects I called the structure the lamp structure and I called the light lamp light so just to make things easier when we import it into unity um, so let's get cracking making this bench let's just drag out a cylinder firstly uh, rotate it at 90 degrees um, that's about the right size so I'm going to go to a face mode select all these and this one and uh, extrude it out let's let's kind of bring it out to make the arm of the chair uh, I'm going to use an, a new tool guys cut faces we're just going to cut a face here um, or try to cut a face there if I've got the right thing selected um, let's try again so I want to cut the faces of this um, let's go in a decent view if I can find a decent view um, there we go so let's just cut it straight down the middle let's do it a couple of times and go back to this view um, by the way guys I might be making a lot of mistakes because I'm quite tired it's been a long week <laughs> so that's that we, we want to make a little uh, leg going down here it kind of curves so to deal with this I'm just gonna get a face um, extrude it out alright guys and um, just keep doing it um, that's all we need to do it's quite simple to do um, so uh, that's as simple as that guys this little technique we've got going on um, so that's all it is guys just just making the the loop by extruding uh, we can select I'm not very keen on this so I can I'm just gonna you know make this a bit um, make the shape a bit better um, go back into a vertex and drag this down a bit you know so um doesn't have to be perfect um and then it goes straight down so we're in this perspective aren't we so uh so let's go to a face mode let's extrude it down to make the arm of the the bench um or the leg even so what's next we've got this bit that's kind of diagonally going down and to do that guys i'm just going to get all these vertices and rotate them like that alright so let's um, deselect everything first go into a face mode get our brush out again kind of brush these over extrude the face I'm just going to extrude straight across let's get this face and extrude doesn't have to be perfect guys um, do it again down here alright so as you can see our bench is coming together quite nicely and this stops being diagonal when the bench kind of meets the, the actual chair so and that's after the curve so uh, the curves there um, what I'm going to do is Bring, just make it a bit smaller it's just to make things a bit more to scale and as simple as that so we want to connect the bench here connect the bench there um, again extrude 
Alright guys, so let's get the vertices, bring them down a bit. There are other ways of um you know dealing with this problem, but um I'm opting to do this bit first. Let's get another edge loop. Um I don't want to do that, so let's go into the tool. Uh, relative to the distance, yep, let's go back to the default values um, there and let's put another one here and um, I'm just going to speed things up a bit guys, I'm just going to extrude this and just bring it into the, this side of the chair <laughs> just speed things up um, so what's next um, this bit of the chair um, Again, we're going to extrude, extrude. Um, going to be a bit more adventurous here, guys. So I'm just going to do that. Um, let's get our edge loop tool out. Um, let's make about 15 edge loops if we can. No, nine. All right, let's do that. Uh, let's do it there. So we're now creating the different the um, bits of wood that make up the bench. So let's do that. Delete these out. Um or not actually, let's don't have to be perfect guys, remember. Um I'm just trying to rush through this as well, so can that be one? Um, you know what? No, it can't because it's going into this object. So let's extrude it. Let's bring it out. Um, let's snap them to this vertex if we can. All right, guys. So press X for this one. Hold X and then middle mouse the vertex you want to snap it to. Um, that'll do. So the next thing you want to do is just make the rest of the chair. So let's extrude again. Let's extrude this bit this time. Let's go back into our edge loop tool again. Do this uh, again, guys. I'm sorry about this, but we've got to line up each one again. Uh, if I can select it. All right, guys. So. We want a little gap before we actually do the extrude. Um, I'm making these quite thick so we don't have to spend too much time doing this but feel free to, to make your own guys and make it look good. So I want to do this in about uh, 10 minutes, 10 minute video. Let's just get this one. Uh, we're going to need another edge loop, aren't we? So, uh, right, edge loop tool again. Okay, that'll do. So, let's go into a face again. Alright, guys. Extrude. And let's just bring it up into our main bit, our main plank of wood. So, as you can see, guys, it's pretty simple to do. Um, I kind of took a bit more care over this model so I'm probably going to use this model in the next video to show you guys how to texture map it and stuff but um, that's basically what, it, basically what it is and if we want to uh, make the other half of the bench we just uh, what we call mirror it we can go to mesh mirror geometry if we click the box we can do it in for example negative x we should do it in that direction so uh, I think we need to do it in negative z let's try that um, it's positive Z actually, so uh, try again. Alright, guys, so that's basically how we would do it. If it was aligned perfectly, then it would join up, but we might have to do some bit of editing, bit of tweaking. Alright, guys, so and as you can see, it's not hard to do. That's that. That's how we can do the bench. Um, it hasn't come out very good in this uh, video because I'm trying to rush through it, but um, that's how my other one turned out. Um, so that's all our 3D models. In the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to texture map the lamp. I'll probably just do the lamp. 
Um, I'll show you a nice little trick with the bench as well, but um, I won't do it all. I don't. I don't want to bore you guys to death. And then we'll model the character. All right, guys. So. Um, and after we've done all our objects, we'll go back into Unity and fiddle about with the settings and stuff. F feel free to skip this part of the, the uh, project, guys, if you want, and go straight to the Unity stuff. It's a lot more interesting. So um, hopefully I'll see you in the next video, guys, and thanks for watching.